you said people consume news in bite sized pieces i do a 2 hour piece every night the longest hour on indian television people are still watching it if mobile is to become the primary screen which you never addressed when you were speaking for consumption of news and entertainment it will have to outdo cable television in convenience and efficiency of consumption okay which means that fast internet speed will become a necessity so that the population isn't stuck waiting for videos or their mobile phones to buffer now as of january 2015 and i'm not talking of january 2035 india's active 3g and 4g connections account for only 8% only 8% of the total population which is proof of how the internet as a seamless medium is still out of reach for the vast majority in this country and i do believe the rest of the 92% of this country does matter also understand this point please at as of july 2014 only 9% of total mobile users in india had subscription to 3g connections this means that the majority of mobile users in india are either using dumb phones or are using 2g connections this is a reality given that 2g connections suffer lags and buffer speeds it is impossible to assume that a consumer will use it as an alternative to another vehicle which exists which doesn't have these problems tv penetration in india is far ahead of mobile internet penetration in india this is proof that news and entertainment on television will be a preferred medium compared to the mobile internet most importantly and this in the context of the new debate on net neutrality we cannot discount another very real indication on the ground from telecom companies who have said that data tariffs will be going up this will directly put a very large section of the people out of the market of consuming information on smartphones and whatever we say indians are very very cagey about spending large sums of money they would far more want a cost efficient service as per the nielsen mobile consumer report and i'm not quoting a tv report one minute left despite mobile users watching videos on their cell phone in india 47% of those users said that traditional tv viewing stayed the same 25% traditional tv viewing increased despite watching videos on their phone and only 28% said that traditional tv viewing decreased why am i comparing it to television the answer is very simple television is the most important medium for tv for news and for entertainment the comparison will not up. be with print the comparison with be will be with television i have many more points but i think i'll rest my case at this point thank you very much over to you the second speaker for the for who's for the motion raghav but i'd like you to first address do a rebuttal and then uh, and then yeah, of no, course go, no, go to your I, point i i was actually making just a very light hearted uh, intervention because when um, uh, arunab said that uh, news is not consume, consumed bite size any uh, any gave the example of his own show i just wanted to tell him his own show is not news it's full of opinion and they are two very different things so his his it, raghav so as far as Raghav, I have no, to respond no, to no, that. No, 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 no. It's, no, a, I it's a personal statement. I'll respond to it. <laughs> you see, I would request Raghav Bahel to please remain focused on the subject. Now, if he wants to focus on me, I'll tell him this on a lighter vein. Raghav, whether you like it or not, and you have run a channel that has had one fourth of our viewership in the past. <laughs> whether it is whether it is for news or entertainment, the fact is that it is watched. I'm a great fan of Arnab. There's no so no question. I, and I and I and I don't know why Arnab is. Uh, uh uh is so uh reticent to admit the false side of the motion frankly he should have been here because because the point is consumption of news is going to go up on this screen but what will they be consuming more and more of arnab so he's a winner either way this is not about i i tell you this whole debate is not about television versus smartphone it's not it's a debate about consumer behavior how will consumers consume news information and entertainment mm. and our argument is that they will increasingly get it from this screen and the reason for that is that there are certain uh, facets of this screen which simply do not <coughs> exist on television prime time is on this screen through the day if something happens i get uh, pinged here if something happens i click through and go there arnab's whole argument up until now has been statistics he's thrown up welter of statistics you don't uh, like at, it? at the audience no 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 this interruption is not allowed i i think the i think there is there is one fundamental statistic which is that india has got roughly 100 million smartphones 
we are grow we are adding smartphones at the rate of 5 or 7 million a month currently and it's accelerating in 3 to 4 years in 3 to 4 years we would have gone beyond 500 million smartphones and that will be the tipping point so in 3 to 4 years even on statistics the argument stands demolished but i will not concentrate so much on statistics because statistics is a post facto event the big thing is consumer behavior why do people find it so much easier to consume news and information uh, on this device the first thing is it's two way today's consumer does not want to be a passive recipient of news and information he or she all of you want to participate in the conversation you want to get back you want to put your comment out there if uh, you are there's an interruption but you want to take it sure uh, statistical problem out here raghav mathematically the understood fact is that the maximum number of users you can increase is 2 to 3 million a month by which case the total number will go up to 300 million so the 500 million number you gave is factually wrong another thing it's not statistically in terms of users using apps which you are advocating on their mobile phones only 13% use news apps in india 29% watch movies 34% of india access a mobile video once a week on their mobile phones so your habit might be different from the large swathes of people in this country i just wanted to correct you on fact on that please uh one fact that you've got is entirely wrong it's not 2 to 3 million we are adding over 5 and 6 million a month even google india is I, not I, talking about i will not yield to that uh, uh let me continue with my <laughs> argument so it is the fact that you want to participate in a conversation so this screen allows you to do it the other thing is figure out where you now get your first information report on news or entertainment you get it from social media no you have one more minute one minute only okay okay you you get it on social media you get it on your facebook news feed you get it on twitter you get it on all of uh, all of that and that is enabled by this device uh, there's an interruption you want to take it actually you're obliged to take it i don't think uh, i have to take interruptions in the last one minute your rules say that the fact no we stop the, the rules say that i will not take any interruption in the last one minute the fact fact fair enough fair enough go for it right okay uh, there's a very powerful point uh, and that is about how uh, when i move with this screen geographically i can alter the catchment of content so if i move from nehru center worli to the airport to pune to delhi seconds to wrap i can capture news and information and entertainment content which is altering as i go no legacy screen no television no newspaper allows you to do that so this is a very powerful device and i don't even know as i said the debate is not about smartphone versus tv it's about consuming content in a static framework consuming content in a mobile framework there is one kind of content i concede that will remain equally important on the static screen and that is large format entertainment and Heart community stop. viewing thank you very much the subject is that mobile and nothing else will become your primary source in the next 3 to 4 years have you ever considered what has happened with digitization of television ask anyone today what is the reality there the reality is and this statistic should seal this debate once and for all this statistic there is according to the latest report 95 million digital television homes will be added between now and 2020 doubling the total multiplied by 4 that is the size of your television digitized audience in the future you want to disregard that reality first of all let's look at india the most important point here is please realize you people may afford 20000 plus rupee phones how many people in this country do that 90% of india uses feature phones 90% of india have no touch screen 90% of india does not have a qwerty keyboard vikram you are looking at me surprised i know i know you are surprised but this is the reality vikram <laughs> 90% of india vikram and don't get dissuaded by what raghav is telling you come over on this side 90% <laughs> raghav has his own reasons you don't come here this side <laughs> have you heard of have you of heard india. of khan khajura station 90% of india of no no interruptions no interruptions 90% of india no, has a phone okay. which does not have an advanced operating system i challenge you today go out and prove to me that 90% of india has a phone which has a qwerty keyboard which has a touch screen which has an advanced operating system i'll rest my case i'll come on your side but if the figures that i'm giving you are correct let's not fool the audience into believing that this india will become another india in 2 years 
It will not happen. 2040 possible. You want to tell people 2018 possible, 2017? Even they won't believe you. I rest my case. I think in substance, the point has been conceded completely that this is going to move entirely to the mobile. The only quibble is our infrastructure is bad, the signals are not healthy, how many times they drop, uh, it's only going to be this number, so many people watch TV, it's only quibbling on statistics. On substance, there is capitulation. I just want to ask one very simple question from the audience. Please put up your hand and say, how many of you get your primary source of information today from the mobile screen? How many of you do it? I think that's QED. The answer is right there. Now, whether there are 800 million television sets which no one is watching, compared to 100 million screens which are being watched all the time, we can, we can absolutely quibble with stats. I think the important thing is consumer behavior. It's not about statistics silly. It's about consumer behavior. And the consumer behavior is very clear. Today, Today, all of you want to be a part of the conversation. You want to be able to come back and give your comment. You want to be able to give a poll. You want to be able to trash. You want to be able to curate personalized news, news and information that you want to follow, not someone else is force feeding you. Because television and newspapers are dumb, linear mediums. They go straight. They don't take anything back. Fact that this can be used to search a restaurant, even know whether there is an Aam Aadmi Party agitation just uh, five miles ahead so that you can take a detour and go. All of that is given by this screen. It doesn't come on television because television is the voice of God. I sit there and I tell you what you must listen. That kind of a medium is now out. Thank you very much.